My name is Glenn Kessler, a supervisory climbing ranger at Mount Rainier. The avalanche risk on Mount Rainier uh, for the visitors uh, exists sort of two times, two different heights of the year. One is the winter season as we have right now where we get a fair amount of new snow on the mountain. Upper mountain, lower mountain, we just get a lot of snow. So the primary avalanche season is the winter time. Um, we tend to have storms that bring in uh, avalanche danger, and they're direct action storms. And by that I mean when the when the amount of snowfalls increases, that's when our avalanches generally happen. Snow time, or I should say, if we have snowfall, uh, we have a storm. As the storm starts, the avalanche danger slowly rises, and then rapidly rises once we've got about six to eight, ten inches of snow. Uh, often we're stable on the lower mountain here within about 48 hours, although that's only when the northwest is acting like the northwest, and it's generally mild temperatures and deep snowpack. Uh, on the upper mountain, that danger can linger for weeks. Uh, so that's the main season, is, is basically December or late November through the end of winter. And then comes a secondary season in between where the skiers sort of take off, and then our climbers come out in force and start heading out on the upper mountain. So we get a secondary season when the climbers come out and the seasons change such that the snow that's already fallen, plus some new snow possibly, and the warm temperatures of springtime start to melt the snow that's on the mountain. And then we get a lot of spring avalanches, which can happen directly after small storms or even larger avalanches as water percolates through that snowpack that's been around all year long. And we can have this secondary season and have some pretty large avalanches based on that. Today we have good weather, and the only reason why the avalanche danger at this level has gone down to moderate and considerable just above here, moderate here at treeline and considerable above, is that we've actually had a couple of days without snow. So if you've got a big storm and that ends pretty pronto right after the large part of that snowfall and the sun comes out, we could have just a morning after a big snowstorm, and that's a tough time because people know. They watch the weather, they watch the news, and they know when that good weather's coming. And what they don't pay attention to is just because you've got good weather does not mean avalanche conditions aren't bad. Um, looking at the Northwest Weather and Avalanche Center website, making sure that you are up on what's going on. Uh, if that website uh, is down for the year, which happens towards the April period of time, check with the Park Service and find out what's gone on as far as, uh, uh, as, far as the avalanche danger. However, um, the avalanche centers can only basically do a forecast for about 7,000 feet or so. And here on Mount Rainier, we're already at 5,400 here at Paradise right now, and 7,000 feet is the top of Pan Point, which is not too far. Our visitors very often in the wintertime and in the summertime are going well beyond 7,000 feet. So those avalanche reports have to be read and understood that they're for a limited amount of terrain. And the reports specifically say they are not valid for higher uh, elevations on the volcanic peaks, such as Mount Rainier, Mount Hood, Baker, Chuxon, etc. So you'll have to do your own investigation once you leave that 7,000 foot level or so. And the roads on Mount Rainier are generally deemed safe when they're open. Um, you've got to still be really careful on the roadways because we do have some treacherous mountainous roads that there's no way to make them completely safe uh, from drivers that don't uh, adhere to speed limits, etc. But uh, if the roads are open, they're deemed to be safe enough that avalanches should not be hitting the roads. We do very little control work, but we try not to open the roads when lingering avalanche danger is there. If the avalanche danger is still there, but not for large avalanches, the roads may be open as long as we've got road crew on that can uh, dig out whatever avalanches end up on the road. Uh, so if you come to the park, you may also find the roads closed at times when there's high avalanche danger uh, because we simply cannot open the roads. And that'll often happen from about midwinter towards till the end of winter.